Hey, what's up guys? It's a super sunny day here in Hawaii, and I'm really excited about today's video because I got my hands on a brand new skate-related product. I don't, it's so simple, yet so genius, so well-made. It's actually a game made for real life skateboarding. I've never seen anything like this. It's such a cool concept and uh, we're gonna mess with it today. I've been kind of staring at this thing all week waiting to make this video. So let's jump right into it. These are Bolts skateboarding cards. Give it a look there. These are so cool. And I know you think, what is that? What does that mean? It's actually a deck of cards. It's a normal deck of cards, you know, four suits, ace through king. They're actually made with skateboarding tricks on them. So sounds kind of weird. Let's just open this up and I can show you what I mean. Oh, fresh pack. That's weird that I smelled that, but they smell really good actually. So maybe that smell was justified. But anyway, looks like there's instructions here and I'll show you instructions. It says, pick a card, flip it, spin it, skate it. So what's smart about this is yeah, in every single deck of cards, there's obviously four suits, right? There's hearts, diamonds, clubs, and spades. For each of those, they will represent one of the four approaches or stances. One is regular, one is nollie, one is fakey, and one is switch. Then there's gonna be a spin action on each card. For example, on this one, it's a kick flip, but if you turn it upside down, it's a heel flip. I'll show you all in a second. And of course, in the middle of the card, there is the trick itself. So this is a 360 flip. And it also comes with a QR code on each card. Apparently you can scan it. And when you do, you'll be able to watch video examples of the trick on the card. So I'm gonna put this card away and we can take a look at the cards themselves. This is exciting. So I'm gonna, fa I'm not good at, oh, oh my gosh. There's two jokers in here that you can include if you want. It says over a gap and one says on a ramp. So I'm gonna put the jokers away because we don't have a gap or a ramp here, but these will be really fun in the future to kind of incorporate into this. So I'm gonna show you right here. I'm not really good at fanning out cards or anything, but we have, looks like the diamonds first are switch. Then next we have clovers. Is that what they're called? Those are all gonna be fakie tricks. Then next we have the hearts. These are all gonna be nolly tricks. And then we have the spades and these are all gonna be regular. So for example, let's go through the spades and we'll start here at the two. Two of spades is just an ollie, regular ollie. If you go to the next one, three, it's a regular shove it. And it looks like one way is front side. And if you flip it over, it's a back side. So depending which way that you want or you pull it, it's a front side shove it or a back side shove it. Next up is four. This is gonna be regular kick flip. But if you flip it over, it's heel flip. We're gonna go through these really quickly because I can't wait to actually skate. Five is a 180 ollie. So it's gonna be front side or backside. Six is gonna be a varial flip, varial kick flip. So I'm guessing backside is like varial flip and front side is gonna be a hard flip. Seven, we have varial heel flip. So it's either gonna be an inward heel or a varial heel flip. Eight is 180 kick flip. So of course, front side, front side kick flip, backside, backside flip. Nine is gonna be a 180 heel flip. This is gonna be tough. 10 is a 360 ollie. Ooh, big spin. Now we're getting saucy. Big spin right here. Queen is gonna be a big spin kick flip. Next is king, big spin heel. So front side big heel, which is already a really difficult flat trick. And then backside big spin heel flip, a very difficult flat trick. I have done those on flat, but very, very not consistently. And then of course the ace we talked about is a 360 flip. And of course that is the same for all of these cards in the different stances. So for example, I don't know, I should shuffle them already. I should shuffle them and we should just get playing. So there's not really a set way to play. I actually have on the back of the box how to play and it has a bunch of different examples. But I think the beauty of something like this is that you can kind of create your own games and create your own rules based on your skill level or how you want to play with your friends because I love doing this sort of things with my friends. I always love, you know, weird games of skate or putting on strange rules to games of skate. So I'm not worried too much about shuffling. Here's how I think I'm going to play. I'm going to draw a card at random and I'm going to give myself five tries to land that trick. Uh, I feel like that's a good amount of tries where it'll show if either I have this trick or I don't. And I'm gonna see how many cards I can get through. I feel like this is also a good way to test your flat land and like tricks that you're not super comfortable, maybe try tricks that you wouldn't otherwise try. In terms of the flipping, like oh, front side or back side, kick flip or heel flip, I'm gonna choose because I'm gonna try and get through as many as I can. So if I have the option between, you know, backside big spin heel and front side big spin heel, I'm gonna try front side big spin heel. Obviously, if you're playing and you wanna be more strict, you don't have to do that. That's the beauty. You can do whatever you want and I'm gonna do whatever I want today. Let's take a cut. 
Let's see what the first card is right here. Oh my gosh. It's a big spin, regular, and front side or back side? I'm gonna go with back side, big spin. That's gonna be my first trick of this. I'm gonna go back side, big spin. We have five tries. I'm gonna earn myself my first card. Let's see. Oh no, oh my gosh. All right, all right, Woo. get the legs warmed up. Four tries, back big spin. I feel like, oh, I'm gonna take that, yes. All right, I got my first card. Give me that card, give me that card. That's right, it's mine, I'm keeping it forever. Uh, you can judge my shuffling. Obviously, I have no idea how to properly do that. And we're gonna take this, what do we have here? Oh, fakey, big spin kickflip, front side or back side. So we have a fakey, big spin kickflip. Obviously, I'm gonna choose backside fakie big flip because while I can do fakie frontside big flips on flat, they're far less consistent and far more difficult. Going for my second card here. I feel like this will be easier than regular backside big spin, but also whenever I feel something, it's usually wrong. I'm just a boy who wants to feel. All right, fakie big flip, come on. Oh no, oh no. This is good, this is the warm up though, come on. Fakie big flip, a trick that I never really do, but I feel like it's always kind of there, waiting. Oh, no pop, but I will take that. I'll be so pumped if I can make it to five cards. Another little shuffle, give it a cut. And what do we have here? Fakie again, I do love fakie. Fakie varial heel flip. So either front side or back side. So it's gonna be a fakie varial heel or fakie inward heel. I'm actually gonna go backside. I feel a little more comfortable with fakie inward heels. I'm just gonna go with uh, my choice. My body, my choice, and I choose fakie inward heel. Okay, yes, I do love that trick. Three cards down. I'm two away from my goal of five. I'll be super pumped if I make it to five. All right, next trick, come on. Regular, still no nollie or switch to my advantage. 180 kickflip, front side or back side? Do I go front side flip or back side flip? Let's think. Are they kind of the same for me? I think I'm gonna go front side flip. I think, actually it's maybe a little harder, but I kind of like that trick more. We're gonna go front side flip. Five tries. Oh my gosh. All these first tries, not doing too good. You can see the real me coming out. This is the real me, mom. It's not a phase. Oh gosh. Got my collection of four right here. What do we got? We're gonna give it a cut. Please, please. Oh, a red card. Nolly, what do we got here? Oh, just Nolly. Yes, it's a two. And you can see how bad my Nollies are. But I'll take it. Oh, that was actually extraordinarily bad. Five cards, how far can we go? And let's see. Another red. Okay, it's Nolly though. Nolly 180. This deck is now trying to embarrass me. Although, like I said, I think it's good because it forces you to do tricks that you would otherwise never do, like I never do. Nolly 180s kind of ever. And imagine with those jokers, like down a gap or on a ramp would be so fun. Oh my gosh. And I feel like this is something I could have fun with for so long with my friends. Like we could just mess around for a really long time doing this. Even put bets down. I feel like gambling on this would be really fun. Like you just throw, I, am I allowed to promote gambling on my channel? Pretend I didn't say that. But uh, hypothetically, in a state where gambling were legal, one would be able to, you know, you could put down money and then someone draws a card. And if they land it, then they get to keep the money. If they don't, the other person gets the money. So it's like, oh, you get a nollie or you could get like a big spin heel flip. And that's purely hypothetical. I am not promoting gambling. It's illegal in Hawaii. Why would I ever do that? Anyway, we're gonna draw the next one. What do we have here? Fakey shove it, front side or back side? Front side, of course. A little back side, love both of those tricks. Okay, now we have a tough one. Regular big spin heel flip, front side or back side. I'm gonna try it front side because I feel like that's a little easier, but I feel like this is where my journey is up. Oh my gosh. Hey, it was a good run, wasn't it? It had to end at some time. Here we go. Ah, oh, we're not gonna count that. Four more tries. All right, come on. Oh, three more. Oh no. Oh gosh. Last try, please. Oh. And that is where my journey ends. And just for one last feature, 
Let's try, I'm gonna pull three cards and we're gonna try and do them in line. I'll give myself five tries. Let's get lucky. First one, regular, big spin kickflip. All right, so I'm gonna go backside. So big flip is the first one. Yeah, great. The second trick, let's see what we got right here. Oh, a red card, nollie varial kickflip. Friends that are backside, I'll probably go nollie varial flip instead of hard flip. This is insane, there's no way. We'll give it one more right here. Regular ollie. Awesome. So that would be great if I can get that. We have them lined up right here. Regular ollie, a regular big flip, and a nollie varial kickflip. I'll give this five tries. Come on. I feel like there's a chance. Regular big flip. Not going to work too well. Oh, yes. I deserved that. Oh, my gosh. All right. Oh, I used to have this better than big spins. What happened to me? Where did those glory days go? Come on. No. See, I used to have big flips on flat. Now I know that I don't. Okay, we'll count that. There's one. Now, you know what? I'm gonna set the record at two. I'm just gonna do the ollie next. All right, right here for all three. A trick that I'm terrible at. Nolly varial flip. Come on. Oh yeah. A little out of the time limit, but still it's fun to do that. So that's it for this video. I just wanted to bust these cards out finally and see what they're all about. It's just such a cool concept, holding these in your hand, being able to shuffle through, draw cards, play games that actually involve real life skateboarding. For me, I like I said earlier, I love games. I'm kind of obsessed with them. If you're into this sort of thing, you should definitely check it out. And also that's just the Flatland Cards deck. It says Flat Ground Fundamentals. There's another one that I was sent that I haven't even opened yet. And this is Grind and Slide Fundamentals. So this is for ledge skating and I have no idea what's in here. Let me know if you guys want me to make another video checking out the Grind and Slides one. You could use it on rails and ledges, I'm guessing. Also, I'm wondering if there's flip tricks in, like flip ins and outs, because if not, you could probably combine the two decks, like draw a flip trick and then draw a grind trick and kind of combine them or even do them in lines. Gosh, there's like so many opportunities to create new games and I'm such a skate nerd I need to shut up because I could seriously go on about this forever but I love it and I think that's one of the reasons I love skateboarding is because of things like this that kind of create infinite fun through different concepts with skateboarding but thank you guys for watching I hope you enjoyed this video if you do want to help support me continuing to make new skate videos I did start a patreon I'll have the link right here not only does it help support me making videos but I also upload exclusive content to patreon huge shout out to my current patreons my three lovely patreons but yeah hope you guys enjoyed watching as much as I enjoyed making this and I'm definitely going to nerd out on these cards a lot just in my free time when I'm at the skate park with friends and I'll try and think of new games too but thanks for watching this video and I'll see you guys next time.